Okay, hi, it's Alana from Baker Art. I am doing a Dutch pour tonight. I have been researching and researching and everyone's like, thin down your paint, thin down, thin down, thin down. So I have thinned down and I'm going to try again. This is an old one that I didn't like, so I'm just going to pour over it. I, I don't know if you can see it. I sort of scratched it all up with sandpaper. Gave it a really good sort of, I don't know, I did pour over one before and I got sort of, it felt like it was way too thick and I got um, splitting. So I thought I'll try this time, sand it down a little bit. Okay, so colours are, I am, so I kind of got gifted these Kaiser colours. So I want to try these out uh, and this is a Montmartre. So what I have done, these three, I would normally do a two to one ratio with my pouring medium. Tonight I have done four to one. So this is twice as thin. This is already quite a thin paint. So, but I did four to one. Now it is really, off. it is really, really runny. So, you know, it's almost like water, as close as you can, I don't know, as close as I can get it to water. Okay, so those ones, I would, now this one, this Montmartre, I normally did it two to one and then would add a little bit of water to thin it down. I have gone as far as eight to one tonight with my pouring medium and I didn't add any water because there's water in my pouring medium. So the pouring medium I use is um, PVA and water at two to one. So two parts PVA to one part water. So it's already got water in it. But, you know, that's eight to one. Instead of, I would normally do two to one plus a little bit of water. So we'll try it. So I'm going to um, lay down the white base and I will come back to you. Now, yeah. well, let's go for it. Now, yeah, it seems so thin, but... That's apparently, oh dear. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think I'll just leave it and maybe we will just change that into, we'll try and go that way and that way. <laughs> we'll see. how this is going to work because it's not a very big canvas so I guess I'll have to blow this one down this way and this one can go up this way. Now I'm going to flood it. That'll be one I will try another time. I haven't tried not blowing the paint over but I'm going to do it this time. got too much white paint on there because the colours seem to be being swallowed up by the let's see if I can get any other colours out. Yeah let's see there's a lot of paint in there. Okay so I've been having a bit of a play around with it not entirely happy with it um don't hate it but i think there was way too much paint on there i'll bring you down for a close-up hang on a second 
Okay, so look, you know, there are bits that I really like. Um, this is kind of what I wanted. This is too thick. It's all a little bit messy. And I, there's way too much paint on there. So next time, less paint, which I kind of knew. Oh, that ring light, sorry. I kind of knew when I was putting it down because normally I don't pour them out of a cup and it, it was also a lot thinner than I normally use. So it kind of got away from me. Now, the other thing was the white. When I poured the white around the puddles, I think I used too much white because if you have a look in certain places like if I can get the under there, there's like lots of color underneath places like here. There's all there's color under there because when I blow it, I can see purple and like I'll just show you this. What I'm going to use this for is just a bit of an experiment to see how it dries with how much I've thinned them down. So if I was to blow this little area here, are you still in frame? Yep. Like, can you see all the color that's under? Oh, look, there's some nice copper. <laughs> so it's all trial and error. Color under there. So yeah. It's uh, a learning curve. So I think I've got the paint thinned down enough now. And next time I'm going to try less paint. Anyway, okay, I will see how this dries. And because it's thinned down so much, I'm just not sure. And, and there's, I don't know if you can see when I move this. You can't see it so much anymore, but there's a lot of paint on there. So I'm going to see how that dries. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. So this is what I've ended up with. Don't hate it. Don't love it. Just very messy. I'll probably pour over it or something. Um, didn't do much in the drying process. Pretty much looks the same. You know, I do like blue, so it's not the end of the world, but... Um, you know, you can just see the colors are just trapped in underneath everywhere. So, you know, you get your little pops of color, you know, you've got a little pop there, you've got your copper coming through there, but all in all, very blue. So I'm gonna go back to my original thickness of paint that I was originally using, and I'm gonna abandon the hairdryer, I think probably. I get a much better result, as you can see from that one. Oh, where's another one? This one over here is one of my favourites now. Did that with the mini blower. So, abandon the hairdryer because I think that's what's causing me the grief. So, uh, those ones I've just shown you will be uploaded soon. And, alright, so thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.